Hello, and welcome to another edition of Player Interviews presented by Inside the Hashes. My name is Juan Pablo Gordon Camargo, and today we are speaking to senior defensive lineman George Trojanek out of IMG Academy. Now, speaking with George, we broke down his versatility as a two-way player on the offensive and defensive line, how he's transitioning moving from Illinois to Florida for his senior year, and re-sparking the deep dish Brooklyn pizza style debate. And with all that said, let's jump into it. How do you define yourself as a football player? Go. I would define myself as versatile. I could play inside, outside, the defensive line. If the college team really wanted me as an offensive lineman, I could play center or guard. But as of right now with the recruiting process, I think most colleges are looking more, and more as a defensive lineman. And at IMG here, they have me playing as defensive lineman as well. So I would say I'm more of a defensive lineman. But I still feel like I can play both ways if needed. You told DeepDishFootball.com that you, that football gives you the opportunity to use both your brain and your brawn. So kind of like define for me, what do you mean by that? How do you get creative as a defensive lineman? Oh, well, what I mean by that is I, I've always been a very good student. Being a straight A student, I always like to apply that to the football field. And just having the knowledge of tra- being able to transfer like school smarts to like kind of field smarts for football. I feel like I have that over a lot of other people, whereas they don't. Maybe smart in school, but not as smart as football or vice versa. You mean like an example? Like I'm really good at English with like comprehending paragraphs and like just text in general. Mm-hmm. But I would say it's kind of like similar to as you would want to comprehend different, like what the offense is doing, what their alignment, what they could probably be doing against you. When you're when you're like learning um, like uh, pass rush moves or uh, trying to stuff the run, what's your preferred method of getting in the backfield? My like, go-to move is typically like a club and rip for a pass rush. And then for, for playing the run, it's usually I just kind of jam them and then play the gap. I always like to be a guy that makes a big play because, you know, like it's all the crowd excited, everyone gets hyped for that. But sometimes that doesn't always work out well for the defensive scheme and what your job is on the field. So especially now here at IMG, I've kind of learned to play more into my role what the defense is doing. That allow for everyone to, as a defense, to be successful, not just for you alone as an individual to be successful. Is there anyone that you watch that you try to model your game after? I would say since I'm a Bears fan, I watched a lot of Cleo Mack and his team picks when they're going at it on the Bears. And then for college football, I kind of just, I don't really watch it for college football, a lot more just the NFL guys. But I would say Khalil Mack and Team Hicks are the guys I watch most just because they're my hometown team. Your time at Jacobs, your three years playing football there, a really like nice thing that you remember during your time at Jacobs. My favorite memory at Jacobs is my junior year of football, our second game of the season. We're playing our arch rival Huntley High School, and we beat them 14-7. That was the first time we beat them in eight years. That was even cooler for me because I played over a lot of those guys for peewee football. So I was playing against guys I grew up playing with and again. So it was just really fun to beat them and be like, put one up to them. Like, hey, we're still here. We beat you. This, we beat you this time. I have a, co- a quote from your coach, Mitz. He said that, you know, it was a battle all night. And if you like to watch offensive line play, those two were really good football players going at it. Those two being yourself and Hunton Lee's two-time all-conference defensive tackle, Matt Burba, which... <laughs> So like, tell me about that battle. What was it like knowing that you could go toe to toe with someone like that? Well, this guy like Matt Burba, I never met him personally, but pretty good football player when I went against him. He's very hard to move. So a lot of time, I just had to get that initial punch and kind of either hold him there, like if it was my pass set. But then if it was a run play, I just kind of had to get that punch and maybe get a turn a little bit just to scream off of the rain back. But that, that was probably my toughest matchup all year for um, while playing center. You're three years at Jacobs, and then you made the decision to do your senior year at IMG Academy. How did they reach out to you, and what, how hard was the decision to leave? I initially was like, wait, IMG, like, they're interested in me. Then we called them up, like, okay, this is legit. They're not, it's not like just some random email I got. At first, we were kind of worried about the cost of going here, because my sister's also in college. My parents were worried about, like, the cost and all how that would work out and once after a few weeks we got that all figured out and then especially with the covid the way of looking at illinois is that they're going to move football to the spring 
And the way I was planning was I was gonna graduate early in December. So that kind of messed it all up. Knowing how Florida works, I looked at Florida and thought, okay, they're most likely gonna be playing in the fall for football. Like the season to leave was really hard because I've been friends with all those guys since some since middle school and a lot of them since high school. And you know, we all been playing together since freshman year, we're all super tight and stuff. Just in the weight room, on the field and everything. That was really hard. But then I just kind of just think like, well, IMG, the opportunity to grow to the next level kind of helps me a lot more if I go here. That was the big decision when I came here. What is like a set list of goals that you want to have checked off by the time you're, at, you're back in Illinois? Well, for IMG for the season, I want to go, as a team, I want to go undefeated. For personal, I want to be in like, so I want, since their defensive line were really tanks, so there's not really starters necessarily, but I want to be in the top three for defensive line, for sacks and TFLs. Those are like my two biggest, like team, go undefeated, then personal sacks and TFLs. On the recruiting side, more just, let's get more, get more offers. College football recruiting in general, like what's that experience been like for you, getting attention like this? It's been kind of slow. Like, I past few weeks have gotten a lot more attention with emails and just coaches reaching out and me reaching out to coaches. But I haven't been getting like just a flood of coaches like talking to me like all the time. Now we're gonna do go into the lightning round of our interview. All right. So do you call it a hot dog or a glizzy? Hot dog. Is it Twitter or Instagram? I'm both. Okay. Uh, do you prefer cardio or weight? Weight. Okay. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Would you rather watch NFL Sundays or college football Saturdays? College football Saturdays. Uh, do you, would you be more pumped for the Super Bowl or a national championship? Super Bowl. Yay! Do, does pineapple belong on pizza? No. Yeah. That leads me to my second question. Brooklyn style or deep dish? Deep dish. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Hey, you haven't got knock it till you try it. I am a New Yorker, sir, and yeah, I... Yeah, we got the two opposites here. We're, we're not going to agree on this. Get yourself educated on good pizza. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, are you a cat or a dog person? Dog. Do you prefer Coke or Pepsi? Coke. All right. Now, you're a big sports fan. I've got a couple of, uh, of uh, Chicago themed sports questions for you. You ready? Mm -hmm. Who is responsible for the Chicago Bulls dynasty? Jerry Reinsdorf or Phil Jackson? Phil Jackson. Who do you hate more, the Packers or the Lions? Packers. Patrick Mahomes or Deshaun Jackson? I mean, Deshaun Watson. Uh, see, it's a draft. Everyone was saying Deshaun Watson. Because you didn't even know Patrick Mahomes is going to be who he was now. So everyone here was saying, I was always saying we should get Deshaun Watson. Mm -hmm. And when they drafted Mitchell Trubisky? WTF. <laughs> George, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down and talk with me today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I want to go ahead and wish you just nothing but the best going forward with IMG. And I'll be keeping my eye on you and uh, keep in touch. I'd love to know how your, how your time goes. All right. Thank you for uh, interviewing me. Great experience. Once again, I want to thank George for taking the time to sit down and talk with us today. And just go ahead and wish him nothing but the best going forward in his senior year at IMG Academy. And remember, for more player interviews like these, you can find us on our YouTube. Just type in Inside the Hashes on the search bar. You can also find us on our website, www.insidethehashes.com. For our audio interviews, you can check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, wherever you listen to podcasts, Inside the Hashes interviews are there. You can also follow us on our social media. On Facebook, we are Inside the Hashes, the football group. On Instagram, we are at Inside the Hashes. And on Twitter, we are at Inside Hashes. For player interviews and for Inside the Hashes, my name is Juan Pablo Gordon Camargo. We'll see you next time.